ओम शांति यह बाबा की सेवा के लिए नया चैनल चालू किया है इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ओम शांति ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली फिफ्थ मार्च स्वीट लेटर ऑफ बाप दादा फॉर स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव रिसीव गुड सेंस फ्रॉम द फादर एंड द लॉक्स ऑन योर इंटेलेक्ट हैव ओपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव रिसीव गुड सेंस फ्रॉम द फादर एंड द लॉक्स ऑन योर इंटेलेक्ट्स हैव ओपन देर फॉर इट इज़ योर ड्यूटी टू गिव एवरी वन द कॉपरेशन ऑफ योर इंटेलेक्ट्स क्वेश्चन वट डिज़ायर इज क्रिएटेड विद इन यू चिल्ड्रन एट द कॉन्फ्लेंस एज विच ओनली द फादर फुलफिल्स क्वेश्चन वट डिज़ायर इज क्रिएटेड विद इन यूर चिल्ड्रन एट द कॉन्फ्लेंस एज विच ओनली द फादर फुलफिल्स answer at the confluence is you children have the desire to go to heaven previously you never even thought that you would go to heaven this new desire is created now and only the father fulfills it this new desire is created now and only the father fulfills it when the desire is fulfilled you will not have any more desires it is sung that nothing is lacking in the treasure store of the dts so at last the day for which we had been waiting has come om shanti the day will definitely come for all the devotees everyone remembers god baba is saying all are sita's devotees all are unhappy the day eventually comes when god having been remembered comes and holds your hand which day come which day come when god having been remembered comes and holds your hand he is also called the boatman the master of the garden and the purifier so you children know that you are now holding the hand of the one and that you have changed from atheist into theist the father has given you children his own introduction and in order to give you the inheritance he has made you belong to him he has made you belong to him you receive an inheritance from a father that one is the unlimited father the supreme father that is why all the devotee children remember him however those devotees don't understand this accept they go on pilgrimages and take musical instruments with them with so much splendor there is the kumbh mela and they study the vedas and scriptures all of that is the part of paraphernalia of the path of devotion that is why they remember god so that he will eventually liberate them from this degradation they continue to call out to him however no one knows the father it is as though those who don't know the father are not his children because they don't know the father they are atheist and having nothing but sorrow after becoming a child of the fathers there is constant happiness after becoming a child of the father there is constant happiness the father is the creator of heaven not everyone will go there only a limited number will come to claim their inheritance from the father those of all the other religions come to claim the inheritance of liberation so everyone has to receive it from the father the father says i now explain easy things to all of you what is the thing simply remember me your father it is this father who explains that you met him 5000 years ago and that you will continue to meet him every 5000 years this is like an old point for you you lose the kingdom every cycle and you then attain it only you take 84 births 
only you take 84 births this is the last of your many births you children understand that you were previously in the ocean of milk and that you then become became trapped in the ocean of poison there is no ocean of milk or ocean of poison but you were pure and then maya ravan made you impure so the father has now come to for purify you it says in the song at least the day has come on the path of devotion you did not have any desire to become the masters of heaven the this accept was not even in, in your intellects this accept was not even in your intellects this baba used to study and listen to the gita's great deal however he did not have any desire to study raj yoga or to change from an ordinary man into narayan the father just suddenly came and entered him baba says i have now come to fulfill your desires for heaven now instill in your intellects the desire to go to heaven the father is the creator of heaven he sits here and explains everything to you so easily yes lust is the greatest enemy even sanyasis say this even sanyasis say this this is why they leave their homes and families but that is a matter of just one or two their parts of isolation are fixed in the drama they too are devotees they speak of god the father but they don't know who he is they don't know who he is then they say chant the name of radhe and govinda krishna is remembered as the cowherd whose name should they chant they have named krishna govinda they have written whatever they heard whom should they call govinda only the one father looks after the cows and plays the murli in fact it is a question of whom and cows previously you did not understand anything the father has now come and given you good sense the father has now come and given you good sense maya ravan gives you bad sense and the father gives you good sense good sense is from shiv baba and the bad sense is from ravan good sense means shrimat and bad sense means false direction so you now understand the contrast we were following false directions and we had no desire to go to heaven the father has now created a new desire there is nothing lacking there for which you would have to beat your head all of you now have a new desire although you make effort number wise the father gives you number 1 directions the father gives you number 1 direction it is said that person is such that even if brahma were to come down here he would not accept brahma's direction this is remembered of the end your praise will be sung at the end when you become perfect your praise will be sung at present you continue to climb and fall one minute you dance in happiness and the next minute you become a crops maya makes you stumble in many different ways she tangles the thread in one way or another so that you stop following shrimat and follow the directions of Ra- of ravan and you then continue to cry out in distress the father says continue to be courteous at every step only by following shrimat will you benefit the father has created this desire in you so it is only by following shrimat that you will become like lakshmi and narayan brahma becomes that and the same applies to you don't forget this accept however maya is such that she does not give a chance to take shrimat she does not give you a chance to take shrimat she makes you perform wrong actions in one way or another 
सो हैविंग परफॉर्म द रोंग एक्शन यू देन कम एंड टेल बाबा बाबा आई परफॉर्म दिस एक्शन आई डिड नॉट हैव टाइम टू टेक एनी एडवाइस फ्रॉम यू वट कैन आई डू नाउ वट कैन आई डू नाउ इफ माया स्लैप्ड यू वट कैन द फादर डू यू नीड टू बी वेरी कोटिशियस अबाउट एवरी एक्सेप्ट एट एवरी स्टेप Sanyasis would never say that it is possible for a man and woman to live together and remain pure. There are many tactics for this. To call yourself Brahma Kumars and Kumaris is such a great method. You children become Brahma Kumars and Kumaris and so you must never dishonor the clan. The relationship of brother and sister is never wrong. It is against the law for a brother and sister to marry one another. And here all are brothers and sisters. All are brothers and sisters. Those people laugh at this system saying in that case where did this system come from? This is a new accept. No one else can give you such advice. No one else can give you such advice. People ask if you are BKs. Do you have to be brothers and sister? So you must make this firm in their intellects because there is a lock of everyone's intellect. They have stone intellects. You should open the locks on their intellects. There are many centers and they call all call themselves Brahma Kumar and Kumaris and so they are brothers and sister. Therefore they cannot criminally assault anyone. It is impossible. This is the new creation of God. Those people say that they have never heard this in the Gita. The father says, I teach you all of this. I teach you all of this. Later on, Shri Baba will not remain, nor will the Brahma Kumar and Kumaris remain. The knowledge will disappear. You will not be able to hear it. I am now teaching you Raj Yoga. When the kingdom is established, all of this will have finished it is not mentioned in the scripture that the pandavas established a kingdom the deities were the masters of the pure world whereas the devils belong to the impure world how could they fight each other how could they fight each other would they come from heaven to fight those in hell acha how could there have been a war between the deities and devils there must definitely have been a con- confluence there must definitely have been a confluence would they bring their own armies and fight each other no kind of calculation of this can be made there are no deities where there are devils and there are no devils where there are deities so how could there be a war so how could there be a war there cannot be a war between the kauravas and pandavas either how could those who are following shrimat battle with anyone it is human beings who make each other fight the father cannot give you permission to fight or to gamble the pandavas are not such fools that they gamble and also fight among themselves Baba has explained that this is the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. Innocent ones are assaulted to a great deal. They are distressed so much because of vice. So tell them God has explained that lust is the greatest enemy. By conquering it you will go to heaven. When you explain in this way many become victorious. then they are called goddess and are worshiped they even receive a lot of help they even receive a lot of help people become afraid when they hear that husband and wife have to live together and remain pure they think it is impossible they say that there must be some magic here <laughs> they tell others never to go to such a spiritual gathering in the beginning the daughters came running and so that 
reputation was created the bhatti was created and so they had to come running here those who are in bondage receive a lot of advice you need a lot of courage in this those who are poor would think nothing matters why should we lose the kingdom of heaven because of this even if they throw me out of this house i will go and wash dishes or sweep floors those who are from wealthy homes cannot leave everything in this way in the beginning it was in the children's part this is very easy for those who are poor baba says if you come to baba you will first have to sweep the floor and do everything storms of maya will come with great force so you will remember your children too therefore you must be very courteous when you become conquerors of attachment that is then something shiv baba has to give you directions you have received knowledge it does not matter what type of clothes you wear the father sits you in his eyes and takes you to heaven the father sits you in his eyes and takes you to heaven the bride follows the bridegroom and they have an oil lamp lit in a clay pot the father comes to make everyone beautiful and take them home everyone will become pure there is a burden of sin on everyone's head there is a burden of sin on everyone's head so you have to settle your accounts and return home at the end you are making so much effort to stay in remembrance those who don't make effort will not go into liberation just like that at the time of settlement they will have to experience a lot of punishment and they will then return to the land of land of liberation baba is saying at the time of settlement they will have to experience a lot of punishment and they will return to the land of liberation the original religion of souls is peace so we sit here in a bodiless state we don't do anything with these physical organs we just sit in silence but for how long eventually you have to perform actions sikhs and holy men don't know that the original religion of souls is peace sanyasis go to search for peace whereas baba says peace is the garland around your neck so why should we go into a forest why we are karam yogis baba says remember me and your sins will be absolved then also remember heaven the choice of devotion has been distressing you for 63 birth you are now being liberated from all of that up heaven baba gives you the direction to become bodiless baba gives you the direction to become bodiless why because you now have to go back with me and i will then send you to heaven there is no question of up heaven in this on the path of devotion you stumbled a great deal you will have to stumble once again so everyone has to become tamo pradhan while taking rebirth acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first be very courteous at every step don't become confused when following shrimat never dishonor the clan never dishonor the clan second in order to go back with the father settle all your old accounts make full effort to become bodiless today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head take blessing
मे यू बी एन इक्वल कंपेनियन एंड बाय एक्सपीरियंसिंग बींग क्लोज टू द फादर बी विक्टोरियस इन इवन इन यूर ड्रीम्स मे यू बी एन इक्वल कंपेनियन एंड बाय एक्सपीरियंसिंग बींग क्लोज टू द फादर बी विक्टोरियस इवन इन यूर ड्रीम्स ऑन द पाथ ऑफ डिवोशन इन ऑर्डर टू बी क्लोज टू गोड दे हैव इम्पोर्टेंस टू स्पिरिचुअल कंपनी on the path of devotion in order to be close to god they have importance to spiritual company only those who are equal are able to stay in his company that is stay close to him those who are constantly with him even in their thoughts are victorious to the extent that maya cannot attack them not just in their thoughts but even in their dreams those who are constantly with him even in their thoughts are victorious to the extent that maya cannot attack them not just in the, their thoughts but even in their dreams they are constantly conquerors of maya that is they constantly stay in the father's close company no one would have the power to separate them from the father's company no one would have power to separate them from the father's company slogan to stay constantly free from obstacles and make everyone free from obstacle is to do real service to stay constantly free from obstacles and make everyone free from obstacles is to do real service om shanti now invaluable jewels of knowledge from dadi's old diaries be stable in your faith and create the destiny of the previous kalp be stable in your faith and create the destiny of the previous kalp it should not be that you have faith according to whatever is fixed some think it is fixed for them not to have this knowledge in their fortune but no you definitely have to have the faith that is it is fixed in your fortune you have to make effort to create your own reward because everything is already fixed according to the unlimited film but through our effort we have to create that destiny that is fixed the destiny will be fixed when we become the master of that destiny and create it again the destiny will be fixed when we become master of that destiny and create it again don't think about the fixed destiny in advance and come to a stand still but consider the reward you are able to create through your effort to be the real reward this is knowledge but to think everything is fixed and to stop making effort is to be ignorant is to be ignorant acha ओम शांति थैंक यू बाबा